planning matters and Codex is extraordinary at planning. And I want you to look at this, especially if you are not an engineer. Codex is already winning because Codex is much more reasonable. It is headlined properly. I see possible approaches and there's three options that are really easy to scan. I can take a tool augmented approach, an event driven workflow or an agentic pipeline. It gets into confidence thresholds really fast. Whereas Codex stays really focused at the strategic layer, right? It says, okay, what are some component considerations you want to think through? I feel like I'm talking to a more senior member of the engineering team when I'm looking at Codex over here. Whereas when I'm looking at Claude Code, it just jumps right into this specific failure table and tries to explain what, what the heck it means by these specific failure choices. I am not ready to get into specific failure modes. That is why I asked the system to think strategically. Only Codex figured that out. And Codex is here having an earnest conversation with me about how I should think about the components. It's giving me ideas for degradation paths that are concise and easy to understand. Classification uncertainty is one. Model hallucination is one. This is so easy to follow. It is so easy to think through. It is so clear. And then it gives me a series of strategic questions around data, human in the loop, tooling, scalability, et cetera. And by the way, the leverage in engineering and also non-engineering tasks in AI right now is in planning. The planning matters and Codex is extraordinary at planning. And I want you to look at this, especially if you are not an engineer.